Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the template driven form. How to get the form object from the template driven form we have seen. Now, in this video, we will see, for example, if you go to the app component.html, sorry, not the app component, template form component.html, here we are adding hash f as the reference and we are make, defining the type as an ng form and we are passing this f into this one, right? So this one is okay, fine. This one is correct, fine. Now, without passing this ngf like this, okay, without passing this one, how we can access the data here? So that means we are not passing the data here. So how we can access the form object? So we can access the form object using the view child. Why? Because we are using hash f means it is the reference. So the reference of the element can be caught through the at the view child, right? Content child is from the inner uh, outside between the tags. We will be writing component tags between the component tags. We will write in the HTML, right? So there we will be using this ng content. So we will be deploying here and we will be using that content child. Here view child means in this template we are using this hash f. Okay. Now if you want to use this one, I can write something like at the rate view so child. Okay. Now I need to write f the identifier what is that so i can write here sign up form whatever the form name you want to get and here i need to mention that one as ng form okay so this is the ng form so i did view child f sign up form ng form now how we can access this one so now i can access this one directly like this this dot sign up form okay so this is how we can maintain now how can i get the now how can i get this data so here if i see the output if we see here let it refresh the code let it refresh okay fine so it is refresh is it running the code is uh, yeah it's running fine now what i will try to do i then again i will try to click on the so i will write here the data and here i will click the ng form so then also you are getting the ng form so here if you see the values you will be able to see the values see so this is how we can also get the data form object data using the view child so this is how we can access the form object data of the template driven form using the view child simply what we need to do is there is no need to submit the there is no need to send the data through to through the form submit we can use this hash f as the view child and we can access the data wherever you want so what is the benefit of using this view child so the benefit the benefit of using this view child is for example on change if you want to capture this data okay now right now you are sending only on submit only previously so that means when when the user clicks on this clicks on the submit button only you can send the data where this one will be useful is for example see in the previously how we are getting the data if i click on submit button only i will be getting the data but if i change here anything if i want to get the data means i cannot access the data in the previous approach if you see if you observe in the previous ap approach I am sending this one on form submit only. So that means when, when this form submit method executes only, I will be getting the form data. That means on, when this form submit method will be executed, when the user clicks on the submit button only. That means until and unless user clicks on the submit button only, I will not get the data. Now here using this view child, what can I do is, so here I can write something like at the rate input, okay, at the rate input, I can write something like check data okay i will write uh, check data or any method uh, whatever the method so just so i will be having here check data okay so check data here i will i can print the form here i can get the updated form so if you see here this dot sign up form okay i will try to print the this dot sign up form now if you see here if you see the output so i am typing here the output okay now the problem is check data okay and here if you go here on input i am able to call this check data okay so that is not a problem so refresh problem it is so if i refresh this data now again yeah now if i click here i am getting the updated form so for example here i have written the email okay now if i write if i write anything so I will be getting the form updated form data so that the value will be everything will be the updated data I am getting. See email also I got the output. So that means if you want to get the updated data in the form so you can use this view chain. Okay this is the benefit of using the view chain here in the template driven form. So you can use the either of the approach is better 
so it depends on the requirement and depends on the work how you are doing so you need the how the data you it is useful how you need the data then you need you will be using the different ways okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you